So a little bit of history about Apex. You can see that the first public release was in 2004, and very consistently, it's been updated uh, almost every year. Well, at least it, it was updated uh, pretty, pretty much every year, all the way up to 2012. And the reason why there's such a big gap here from 2012 to 2015 is the Apex team really took a look at kind of where Apex was and the things that they had to change to make it just even better than it is now. Um, and so that's when we got the Apex 5.0 release um, that introduced that new designer view. It changed a lot of things under the hood um, and um, kind of uh, suffice to say that you're getting into Apex at a really good time. Um, also kind of on the horizon, Apex 5.1 is coming. Uh, it's likely going to be this year, uh, but there's no real confirmation of that, so I, I can't I can't say that indefinitely. But I'd say it's likely that Apex 5.1 is coming. Um, and what this Apex 5.1 is going to introduce is something called the interactive grid. So it's kind of like um, an Excel spreadsheet online, and it's also going to introduce a declarative way to build a master detail detail relationship. So you don't have to write any code, you just kind of pick the tables and Apex builds a structure for you uh, to handle this scenario. 